James Joyce stands tall as a giant of 20th century literature. His works have left an indelible mark on the literary world, influencing countless writers and readers alike. Born in Dublin in 1882, Joyce's impact on the world of letters is undeniable. His early years in this vibrant city, filled with its rich history and cultural tapestry, played a crucial role in shaping his literary voice. His groundbreaking works, including Ulysses, Finnegan's Wake and Dubliners, have challenged and expanded the boundaries of narrative and form. And a portrait of the artist as a young man are celebrated for their innovative techniques and profound insights into the human psyche. These works revolutionized the way we understand language, consciousness, and the human condition. Joyce's ability to weave intricate narratives with deep philosophical underpinnings set him apart from his contemporaries. Joyce's masterful use of stream of consciousness, a technique that delves into the inner workings of his characters' minds, has been both lauded and studied extensively. His exploration of complex psychological themes, such as identity, memory, and the passage of time, resonates deeply with readers. And his deep connection to his Irish heritage have cemented his place as one of the most influential writers of all time. Joyce's works are imbued with the essence of Ireland, capturing its spirit and struggles. Joyce's early life in Dublin a city steeped in history and tradition profoundly shaped his literary imagination. The city's streets, its people, and its stories became the bedrock of his creative output. He left Ireland in his early twenties, seeking a more expansive literary landscape, yet his heart and mind remained tethered to Dublin. But the sights, sounds, and stories of Dublin remained central to his writing throughout his career. The city's influence is evident in the vivid descriptions and authentic dialogues that populate his works. It was in the streets of Dublin where Joyce discovered the characters and themes that would later populate his fictional world. From the bustling markets to the quiet alleyways, every corner of the city offered inspiration. The city, with its vibrant mix of poverty and grandeur, hope and despair, became a character in itself in many of his works. Dublin's duality, its beauty and its hardships, mirrored the complexities of the human experience that Joyce so masterfully captured. Published in 1914, Dubliners is a collection of 15 short stories that offers a poignant and unflinching portrait of life in Dublin at the turn of the 20th century. Each story is a window into the soul of the city, capturing the essence of its people and their daily struggles. Each story, meticulously crafted and infused with a deep sense of realism, provides a glimpse into the lives of ordinary Dubliners from various walks of life. From the laborers and shopkeepers to the artists and intellectuals, Joyce paints a vivid picture of a society in transition. From the innocence of childhood to the disillusionment of adulthood, the stories traverse the full spectrum of human experience. Joyce captures the essence of Dublin's social fabric with remarkable precision. His keen observations and attention to detail bring the city to life, making the reader feel as though they are walking the streets alongside his characters. The stories in Dubliners are not simply tales of individuals. They are interwoven threads that create a rich tapestry of Dublin society. Each character, no matter how minor, plays a role in the larger narrative. Joyce masterfully interconnects his characters, often through subtle references or chance encounters, highlighting the complex web of relationships that bind a community together. These connections add depth and richness to the stories, making them feel like pieces of a larger puzzle. Joyce masterfully interconnects his characters, often through subtle references or chance encounters, highlighting the complex web of relationships that bind a community together. Through these interwoven narratives, highlighting the complex web of relationships that bind a community together. Through these interwoven narratives, Joyce presents a panoramic view of Dublin, exposing its social hierarchies, its moral complexities, and the deep-seated sense of paralysis that gripped many of its citizens. The stories delve into the themes of identity, belonging, and the struggle for personal freedom, 
reflecting the broader societal issues of the time and the deep-seated sense of paralysis that gripped many of its citizens. Through his masterful storytelling, Joyce not only captures the spirit of Dublin, but also offers a timeless exploration of the human condition, making Dubliners a work of enduring relevance and profound insight. One of the most striking aspects of Dubliners is Joyce's innovative use of narrative technique. He employs a third-person, limited point of view, delving into the thoughts and perceptions of his characters with remarkable intimacy. This technique allows the reader to experience the world through the eyes of Dubliners, sharing their joys, sorrows, and moments of quiet desperation. Joyce's prose is precise and evocative, capturing the rhythms of Dublin speech and the nuances of everyday life. He masterfully employs symbolism and imagery, infusing his narratives with layers of meaning that extend far beyond the surface level. A simple object, a familiar street corner, or a fleeting expression can take on profound significance, revealing the inner lives and hidden desires of his characters. Trapped Lives Themes of Paralysis and Longing Throughout Dubliners, Joyce explores a recurring theme of paralysis, a sense of stagnation and inability to break free from the constraints of Irish society. His characters are often trapped by their social circumstances, their past mistakes, or their own self-doubt, unable to pursue their dreams or escape the suffocating routines of Dublin life. This sense of paralysis is often intertwined with a longing for something more, a desire for escape, for love, for a life beyond the confines of Dublin. Many of Joyce's characters dream of a better future, but their aspirations are often thwarted by their inability to take action or by the harsh realities of their circumstances. This tension between longing and paralysis creates a palpable sense of frustration and disillusionment that permeates the collection. Dublin Stages, a city through time. Dublin, a city rich in history and culture, has been immortalized in literature, particularly through the works of James Joyce. His collection of short stories, Dubliners, offers a profound exploration of the city's essence. Dubliners is structured in four distinct sections, childhood, adolescence, maturity, and public life. Each section serves as a window into the lives of Dublin's inhabitants, capturing the essence of their experiences and the city's evolving identity. This deliberate structure allows Joyce to explore the complexities of Dublin society through the lens of human experience at different stages of life. By doing so, he paints a vivid picture of the city's soul, its struggles, and its triumphs. From the innocent wonder of childhood to the weary resignation of adulthood, each section offers a unique perspective on the challenges and triumphs of being a Dubliner. The stories are not just about individuals, but about the collective spirit of the city. In the childhood section, stories like Araby and An Encounter capture the confusion and yearning of youth. These tales delve into the dreams and disappointments of young Dubliners, highlighting their innocence and the harsh realities they face. The adolescence section, with stories like Evelyn and After the Race, explores the complexities of young adulthood as characters grapple with love, responsibility, and the allure of escape. These narratives reflect the turbulent emotions and pivotal decisions that shape their futures. The allure of escape is a recurring theme as many young Dubliners dream of a life beyond the city's confines, seeking adventure and new opportunities. The maturity section, including stories like A Little Cloud and the Dead, delves into the disillusionment and quiet desperation that can accompany middle age. These stories reveal the inner struggles of characters who reflect on their past choices and the paths they have taken. Finally, the public life section, exemplified by Ivy Day in the committee room and Grace, examines the hypocrisy and corruption that permeate Dublin's social and political spheres. Through these stories, Joyce critiques the societal structures and the moral decay that often lurks beneath the surface of public life. Each section of Dubliners not only tells a story, but also serves as a mirror reflecting the multifaceted nature of Dublin itself. 
capturing its essence through the lives of its people.